everybody, Jeff from Corrugated Cavalier here, back at you with another spear video. The snow is starting to thaw out, so I'm back in the yard, which is nice. Um, so today we're going to be working on just some warm-ups that I do, kind of body warm-ups, and also just getting a good feel for the weapon, and also just to isolate some of the techniques rather than having to do the entire play. This is going to be stuff that's all uh, in place, and then I'll have some more later. Alright, so I'm just starting with some shoulder rolls here, forward and backward. I'll probably do all this stuff a little bit longer. I'm just trying to save some time on the video, get some tension out of my neck, do some wrist circles the other way, do some ankle circles the other way, switch feet, ankle circles the other way, knee circles the other way. And I call this puppy dog. <laughs> and then some... Oh, I didn't do reverse puppy dog. Normally I do reverse puppy dog too. Okay, now here just be careful that your plant leg is not twisting too much so you don't mess up your knee and then pick up the spear. And here I'm just doing the exact same thing. I'm not worrying about alignment or technique or anything, just getting my body used to the extra weight and momentum of the spear, and then I switch sides, and I'll show that on the side again. Just uh, moving back and forth, warming up my hips, and so what I do is I take my forward hand to toss the spear straight back, and my other hand slides, and that's really just it. It will come back. So here my hand is just, my hands are sliding. So whichever side of the weapon I'm uh, utilizing, I slide out to get some momentum and more length on it. And this helps to have a point on each side to go for. I'm aiming at either side of my garage here. Switch. Switch. Now we're doing a switch on every side. I like this just to get used to switching. And now I'm going to go in tempo. And I'm trying to make that switch straight back as much as possible. Okay, so now we're doing... Uh, I call them cuts, but they're, they're really beats, but I'm going to refer to them like Fiore's cuts, just for simplicity's sake. So those are Fendente, Edzani, could be at different levels there, could be slightly rising too. Because the beats, when you perform them, are slightly rising, and then Sotani. This one has a really nice corkscrewing action that I like. And once again, the beats, you know, might not be exactly like that, but I just like building facility with the weapon, and if you're in a situation, you might perform that. And now I'm doing the same thing, but letting my hands slide again and letting uh, whichever side I'm utilizing get length and momentum. It's a little bit difficult with the Sotani, at least for me. But, you know, keeping the hips volta stable, volta stable, keeping hips generating power. You can omit that uh, presumably drunken stumble. And here I'm going to switch after every cut. Switch sides, Fendente, switch sides, Mezzano, switch sides, Mezzano, switch sides, Sotano, switch sides, Sotano. And go just a little bit faster, Fendente, Mezzani. Sotani. Keeping the hips going. And I missed a switch there, but that's why we do stuff like this. A little faster. And I'm thinking about a straight line at all times. I don't always accomplish it, but I'm trying not to scoop. And that's why I like doing these drills, is to get the technique down. And here, just a thrust under, thrust over. I kind of think of it with a little bit of a lunge. Um, but if you're passing through, you might not need it anyways. But doing it statically, it helps to have that movement. All right, that's it. All right, I hope that was helpful to some folks. Uh, the next video will be one involving more footwork and some more movement and uh, starting to incorporate some techniques into that as well. 
And after that, uh, I've come up with uh, a drill that goes through all six pasta for spear and uh, uses the beat and thrust as well as the counter uh, throughout all of them to basically work everything that's in that section. So yeah, thank you guys so much for coming by the channel. Please click like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. We are getting close to 100 followers. I would love to hear any suggestions about what you might like to see for a 100 subscriber video. Um, check out uh, my 50 subscriber video up there for an idea, perhaps. And uh, yeah, once again, thanks for coming by the channel. Be good to each other. Ciao.